that time of the month. This is my first oil change since the, I guess you could call it the clutch job, 3,955 miles. And the car's been pretty good. That's not leaking no more. Pretty good. I gotta clean it up all around the area because it is a little bit dirty. Um, as I was mentioning, don't buy a Felpro gasket. Those things are horrible. If you see my Instagram story, you would know why. Here are my Tokikos with H&R Springs. Matrix M3. She's clean, look at that. Clean. Clean, clean, clean. Let me get by. Right yeah, here. So we do have a leak still. Right there on the power steering pump itself. I think it's going to be the O ring that's inside this. I think it's going to be that because I already put this on. And it's already like, I mean, I don't see the leak from there, and the leak is coming from there, so I, it has to be the O-ring that's inside right there. Otherwise, this would be pretty clean. That's my only leak. And the axle itself right here, the boot is torn. Let's see if I can get to the torn area. I already checked it out, and oh, there it is. Look at that. Such a beautiful sight to see, right? <laughs> no, wrong. <laughs> but I'm not gonna bother cleaning it up. Um, I do have a new axle on the way, so then I'll clean it up. I'll clean all this up. We're gonna get the new O-ring. I'm gonna see if I can get order this from Toyota. And if I can, then we'll just go ahead and replace that. Got a new axle on the way and I've told people that this vehicle is actually from Illinois. It's not a California vehicle, and you guys can see all the oxidization, I guess you would call it. The only worst part's right here. These, when I was removing these right here, they actually bent. I don't know which one's the one that's bent, but one of them bent. <laughs> So I gotta get new ones of those. I think it's this one right here because this one's not compressed all the way and this one is. So, and my TRD exhaust is actually cracking as you can see right here. Yep, there you go. It's all the way around, unfortunately. But I have someone that's gonna fix this. Hopefully that clears up all the, the rattle that's coming from it. But. For this being an Illinois vehicle, it's not that bad. Got some rust right there, oxidization. Gotta clean this up again. But other than that, as we were talking about, the oil pan's not leaking at all. It's really good, really, really good. I'm glad that this ended up working, but we do have a problem area up here, as you guys can see. I do have a leak from those hoses. I don't have any clamps at the moment, but I will fix that. I'll probably do it at home. It's pretty simple. And as I mentioned before, don't buy an eBay radiator because that's what happens. And same right here, look. It's already leaking right here. It's very good at focus. There you go. But other than that, she's pretty clean. We're gonna go ahead and do the oil change and we're gonna see how the oil comes out, what condition. I've driven it 4,000 miles. I was driving it a bit hard after the clutch breaking, so we're gonna see how it is. Let's get to that. Got the 14 millimeter. I am so happy that I'm using a 14 millimeter on this because before I was using a 19 millimeter socket to loosen this 
All right, it's already pretty loose. Let me go get the... Actually, let me get the light. Let me get my light. Let's put it right here. Actually, let me put it more back. I kind of want to get oil on my... I really hope I don't get oil on this now. thousand miles later it's not that bad I guess it's brown better than it being pitch black right I'm gonna go ahead and let that drain I only use Toyota OEM so I like to use my OEM freak I'm gonna go ahead and using the F1 filters and some Mobile One High Mileage 530. Full synthetic. Letting this drain out for a bit before I clean it up and put the new filter back in. Make sure to clean your area and put a little bit of oil on your oil filter cap or oil filter itself. <laughs> Can type. We're good right there. Put your drain bolt back on. Uh, make sure you use a new washer. Unfortunately, I don't have a new washer right now, so go ahead and comment away how I did not use a new washer. <laughs> May the world end. Fuck. <laughs> Got oil in there. Put about four quarts because the one ZZ oil pan is smaller than two ZZ, so can't really put that much oil in it. So I believe four quarts is fine for now. If anything, I'll add on later if it does go down. But from the from when I did the clutch to now, I didn't have to put any um, extra oil from what it had originally. So I think it should be fine for now. Got the gloves removed. And let's go ahead and start this car. It is hot as hell today. It is hot. My maintenance required light didn't come on, so I don't have to reset this. But when it does come back on, I'll just go ahead and reset it. I just wanted to change out the oil because I'm, I was kind, I guess I was driving the car kind of hard a little bit because I just wanted to see like if the clutch was gonna work and all that, the pressure plate, and it all turned out good, so I'm fine. Um, just gonna let it run for a bit. <laughs> 